What up, what up, what up fellow agents, Pure Prime here. Today I'm going to show you how to farm for exotic components. You ready? Let's go! First we need to go and create a new character. Um, no worries, you don't have to go through and play him all to level 30, just the first part. So just go to your new agent and connect it. After you played the intro, you will see you can enter your stash and you will see the stash from my main character, like you see here. And if we go back, you will see we don't have any guns here. So log off and go back to your main character. Open your stash and you will see no weapons. Go to your weapons and scroll down to the exotic weapon that you have or maybe more exotic weapons that you have and get it to your stash. Uh, you can give all your exotics to your stash or to your second character. Just scroll down and put them in the stash. Like this. And we get back to the stash and you will see all the weapons are here. After that, just log off again. And log into your second account. Go to the stash and collect all weapons that you delivered to this stash. Like you see here, you will see all three weapons. And just move them to the inventory of your second character. You will see all the weapons or these three weapons are in the inventory of my second character. After that, you just have to log off log on to your main character and you can begin the hunt again let's go guys if you got lucky with the pestilence just go after that again just go into the dark zone and kill it oh yeah or you don't want to be in the dark zone and just running around in the main game uh, just go for the merciless again and yeah but i heard many agents talk about the drop rate or the RNG in the game. So I still think the cheddar box is the best option because you don't have to play any mission. You just have to collect all the parts again uh, because you still have the blueprint. You will never lose this. Uh, so yeah, I think this is the, the easiest way and the best way. Uh, and you just need to know where to find all the caches that drop them. First of all, you need to check if you have all the hyena keys or all you have enough hyena keys. No, I got enough keys, like you see here, 18 hyena keys. So st let's start collecting them. And the first one you need is the loaded canister. Like you see here, we just got it. For your second part, we're going to uh, this one and you need to create a magazine. Like you see here, I just opened up this cache and I create have got to create a magazine. For the third part, we need the modified mods. You can get it over here. And just after that, go back to your crafting station, open up your weapon tab, scroll all the way down and you will see your blueprint chatter box. And you can craft it right now. You don't need any exotic parts, only the three parts we just collected. And oh yeah, your next chatter box. Go back to your stash, open it up, and you will see you have the chatter box right here. Send it to your stash, like you see here. It's in your stash. And then just log off and go back to your second character. After you're connected to your second character, just go to your stash. 
and you will see the chatter box here. Go to your inventory of your second character, go to weapons, and send your chatter box to the stash. Let's see, guys. We got two chatter boxes right here. Uh, like you see, the talents are pretty much the same or are the same. So the only thing you have to look for is the damage. After this, just log off again. Go to your second character or your main character, go to the weapons tab and you will see the two chatter boxes. Send them to your inventory. Scroll all the way down and you will see the two chatter boxes. You can deconstruct one now. And you will see we have two exotic components. And that's the way to collect them guys. Um, yeah, I just want to upgrade it my chatter box from 490 to 500. So I will show you how I did that. Go all the way down. Go to your Chatterbox upgrade blueprint and you will see item required the Chatterbox score 250 and it will say that because the Chatterbox is in my main build right now and you will see we need one exotic component backup request. and we all already have two so just go back go to your character and select your main build and just deselect the chatter box or just select another gun. You will see it's out of our main build. Go back to the weapons tab, scroll down to your upgrade blueprint for the chatter box. And you will see we have it, it's white colored now. Just select it and you will see we have the chatter box right here. Select and you can craft this bad boy right now well yeah that's it for this guide today guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button and of course the notification bell pure prime out